What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we've got to talk about ticker symbol MULN, Mullen Automotive. This is a stock that we have talked about before on the channel. It's been through some past pumps. It just went through a big pump, and you can see that today that pump actually subsided quite a bit, right? We got from where we started around a dollar up to a dollar sixty-eight. And now we're around $1.22. So what is going on with Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol MULN? We're going to talk about that. So the first thing that you need to know is what actually got this pump going in the first place. Now, it is positive news for some of their solid state batteries, all right? This is an electric car company, and they are trying to get the longest range electric vehicle on the market out. So they obviously will be pumping up when you hear good news about their batteries, right? That's the whole point of this company. They have really good batteries and they're trying to get the longest range EV out there. Now you can see in the past when they pumped up about uh, about 60 days ago or so, they also pumped up on this battery news. Now they had different news last time. Now they've got new results and the results for their new tests on these batteries are actually better than expected. They were initially rated at 300 AH and 3.7 volts and the tests showed that they actually had 347 AH and 4.2 volts whatever that means, right? If you understand uh, a lot of physics and uh, engineering, then you probably know what that means, and it's uh, probably great for their batteries. But as investors, we just need to know that the results were better than what they were expecting and better than what the batteries were actually rated for. So obviously, a lot of people took interest in that. You can see on Google Trends, a lot of people started looking into the uh, into this company when their results came out, and that did have the effect of pumping up the stock price. If you look yesterday, they did pump up quite a bit. I mean, up over 68% at their highs over the course of about 24 hours. So pretty impressive stuff. Now, unfortunately, they are in the decline. And this actually came on the back of falling search interest volume, right? As fewer people started looking into it, unfortunately, we did subside a little bit with Mullen Automotive. We also saw some shorts come into the stock, not all that many, but about 4% of the current interest increased. So we did see a couple million extra shorts come in. Currently, we're near all-time highs for short interest at the moment, right? 15% of the free float, 43 million shares short. There are quite a few shorts in this. A lot of people are betting against this stock. Unfortunately, a lot of stocks in the market over the past year have just been getting hammered. And Mullen, ticker symbol MULN, is a growth stock, right? It's a growth stock, and growth stocks have been hit the hardest. It's an unfortunate situation to see. I mean, this thing was at 1590 at one point, and now it's all the way down at a buck 42, probably further down than it deserves to be, considering the fact that it is a growth stock. And the entire market has actually been getting beaten down for the past couple of months. I think that, you know, in the end, uh, regardless of what happens with this company, when the market starts to come back as a whole, this stock will probably come back with it. Now, it is a growth company and a riskier company, right? Obviously, a lot of their news that they're getting is based on this battery news, right? They're hoping that they can eventually deliver an EV with a range of 600 miles, which it would be the longest range EV, right? If they could actually deliver it, the current longest range EV has 520 miles, so they would be beating out the Lucid Air Dream. Now, it's important to note that that won't be happening until closer to 2025, right? They still have a lot of work to do on these batteries. So they've got a lot of time to potentially make it work, but they also have a lot of time to potentially uh, fail to deliver results. And if they did fail to deliver results, that would probably be very bad for them, right? If they uh, ended up not having as much success with the batteries as they have in the past, that would probably kill this company off and uh, and keep them pretty low for a very long period of time, right? Unless they actually had some other development in the company that could could take them back from that, right? That's uh, that's the main catalyst that they have going for them right now. Mostly people are hopeful for these batteries to actually make them have the longest range EV car out there. And if that doesn't pan out, that could be very bad for them. But if it does, if we continue to get positive results, as we always have for this company, right? They've always had pretty good results for their batteries. If we continue to see that and we continue to see the market come back as it has been over the past couple of days, then I think things could go very well for MULN, all right? This is definitely one to keep on watch, at least. It's one that certainly, if things continue to go well, uh, at this point, undervalued, right? If you're looking at where they were just a year ago, they've only made progress since then, and uh, they are about a tenth as expensive as they were at their peak. So pretty impressive to see there. That's just a quick update on MULN for anyone who's curious, for anyone who uh, followed the channel in the past because I was covering MULN. There you go. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. That would be much appreciated. And other than that, guys, keep in mind none of this is financial advice, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.